Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah. The pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan. Night of Ramadan. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن محمدا عبده ورسوله. All the praises due to my Lord. I bear witness that there is no god but Allah and that Muhammad is his last prophet and messenger. My brothers and sisters in Islam, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today, one of the blessed days of Ramadan. How is your situation with the Mushaf? With the book of Allah, the Quran, how much or how many verses or how many surahs, or chapters that you read? How is your status with the Quran or the book of Allah before Ramadan? And how is going to be with after Ramadan? Is it the same or there is slackening behind? Some of the people, unfortunately, they put the Mus'haf on the corners. And they just pick it up during the month of Ramadan and start reciting it. The book of Allah. What are the duties? My brothers and sisters, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very closely related to the month of Ramadan. Because Allah said that in the context of the verses talking about fasting. Allah said in the Quran, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ هُدًى لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيْنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ The month of Ramadan is the month when the whole revelation of Allah was revealed. It was revealed from Allah al-Mahfud, the preserved tablet, to the heavens and later on it was revealed upon the heart of the Prophet ﷺ on the span of 23 years. And the Qur'an was the source of mercy. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused the Qur'an or caused Jibreel actually to come to the Prophet he used to come during the month of Ramadan to give him the whole revelation and to revise it to him. Immediately before the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he came and he revised the Qur'an twice. So in the authentic hadith about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that he was most a generous person and he was most generous during the month of Ramadan when Jibreel came and he started teaching him the Quran. And the Sahaba said the Prophet ﷺ was like the wind which goes in every direction. The book of Allah during the month of Ramadan has a very special taste because it has a big responsibility on everybody. We listen to the Quran Taraweeh, we listen to the Quran in the radio, in the TV, we try to read the Quran ourselves. My brothers and sisters in Islam, it is one of the highest grades of dhikr, mentioning Allah subhanahu When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ قَرَأَ حَرْفًا مِنْ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ فَلَهُ بِهِ حَسَنَةً Whoever recites a letter from the book of Allah, he will have a good deed. I do not say, and I cannot say, alif, lam, meem, harf. It is a word. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I cannot say that this is a one letter. But Alif is a letter, Lam is a letter, and Meme is a letter. You can imagine every single good deed is counted or multiplied in turn and sometimes to 700 according to the grade of sincerity that the person retains. This is just the reward of reciting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is not enough in the month of Ramadan. The book of Allah is a book of contemplation. So when the Prophet ﷺ will come on the Day of Judgment and he will say, وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا He would say, O oh Allah, my people have already taken the Qur'an abandoned. You can imagine the Prophet ﷺ is complaining about his community. He said, they took the Qur'an but then they abandoned it. So the scholar said there are three levels of abandoning and deserting the book of Allah. The first type is abandoning the true recitation and reading of the book of Allah. 
Number two, abandoning understanding its meaning and contemplation. And number three, abandoning the role of the Quran in changing the self, changing the community, and changing life around ourselves. This is what we call the role of the Quran in acting upon it. The role of the Quran in translating it into a real life. When the Prophet ﷺ was being asked, or he was being uh, asked, Aisha was asked actually about his manners, the Prophet ﷺ said, his manners were actually an exemplification of the Quran itself. He was a Quran walking on the land. He was a Quran speaking, talking, a Quran dealing with the people in a Quranic way. The Quran is the book which changed the Arabs, changed them from just Bedouins, pasturing uh, the camels in the, in, in the desert into leaders. An example of that is Rib'i ibn Amr. Rib'i ibn Amr is one of the companions and one of the great soldiers of Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas. And he was sent actually to Persia, to the Persian Empire. And he fought against Rustum, one of the greatest uh, leaders of Kisra. So when he met with him, they actually, uh, Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas fought and he dominated them. So Rustum asked Sa'd to send him a leader or a soldier of him. So Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas sent Rib'i ibn Amr. So Rib'i actually went to the court. It was wonderful, majesty, a lot of carpets and rugs everywhere, gold and silvers and drinks and food everywhere. And he actually took his horse. So the people wanted to deprive him away and said, you need to walk on foot to the king. And he said, no, you are the people who called for us. So I will not go on foot. I will go on my horse. I will not leave it. So when he entered, so the king left him and he entered and took the sword and he started piercing the carpets and the rugs. And he tied the horse uh, closer to the throne of the king. So Rostam asked him a very critical question. Why you are here? And he said, there are, you have three choices. Number one, the first choice is that we will leave you for three days. You will accept Islam or you will pay the taxes and we will protect you. And then you will leave us, preach the people about the religion of Allah. Otherwise, we will fight against you and we will give you just three days. And there is no additional days. And then he said, what is your mission? Why you are here in this land? And then Rib'i ibn Amr asked, answered him in a very eloquent manner and said, We are people. نَحْنُ قَوْمٌ اخْتَصَّنَ اللَّهُ لِنُخْرِجَ الْعِبَادَ مِنْ عِبَادَةِ الْعِبَادِ إِلَىٰ عِبَادَةِ رَبِّ الْعِبَادِ We are people that Allah has chosen us to derive the people and to get them rid of worshipping themselves to worshipping Allah alone, the Lord of the universe, and to take them from the narrowness of this life to the spaciousness of the hereafter, and to save them from the injustice of other religions to the spacious justice of Islam, the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the glory and the honor that was planted in the heart of Rib'i. Why? What is the reason? This is because of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran, which changed their future, which changed their lives. We are in need as the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nowadays to measure ourselves according to the yardstick of the Quran, to measure our deeds according to the Quran, our speeches according to the Quran, our movements, our targets, our leaders, ourselves according to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where are we from the book of Allah in all the spheres of life? Where are we from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which commands us to tell the truth and to deliver the truth for humanity? Where are us from the book of Allah which tells us to protect and lower our gaze? Where are our responsibility towards our children? towards the Ummah, towards the non-Muslims, towards everybody on the face of the earth. 
the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will not resurrect again for guiding humanity until it go back to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reading, contemplating and understanding, acting upon, imitating and following the path of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, taking the emblem of Allah which is mentioned in the Qur'an إن هذا القرآن يهدي للتي هي أقوم ويبشر المؤمنين ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا كبيرا. So it is the book of Allah. Truly and certainly the book of Allah or the Quran guides to what is straight. And it gives the glad tidings to the believers who will make good deed in this life. The Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam need to go to the book of Allah in another level of reading. A level which is not superficial. A level which is not for the decoration. A level which is not for taking the Quran for paintings, for calligraphy. A book of Allah in a dynamic way to change them. Allah said in the Quran, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُغَيِّرُ مَا بِقَوْمٍ حَتَّى يُغَيِّرُ مَا بِأَنفُسِهِمْ Allah does not change people's status until they change what is included in themselves. So we need to change ourselves first so that Allah will change us. Ramadan is a good opportunity to change ourselves. Ramadan is a sizable opportunity to go back to the book of Allah. Reciting the book of Allah at least once during the month, listening to the book of Allah and acting upon it. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower his mercy upon the whole of Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to bless all of us and to free us from the hellfire and to grant us eternal success in this life and the hereafter and peace upon all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan.